round of next year's Tokyo Olympic Games begins, but why one of our top leading medal hopes is in doubt. Tonight on the project... Pole vault star Eliza McCartney has revealed a major health concern that's left her in a race to qualify for next year's Olympic Games. At just 22 years old, McCartney's discovered she's suffering an autoimmune condition that's behind a run of injuries that have so far prevented her from qualifying for Tokyo 2020. Eight months out from the Games, that's the big focus of tonight's New Zealand Olympic Gala in Auckland, where Christina Eddy joins us. Christina. Yeah, that's exactly right, Andrew. I mean, tonight is all about celebrating and recognising the achievements of the athletes over the past year. But one notable absence is Eliza Ladies McCartney. Now, her Olympic campaign has been hampered by a long run of injuries, and she finally has the answer as to why, although uncertainty still remains over her Olympic qualification. Three years ago, Eliza McCartney was on top of the world. And it's just hit home to her that tonight she has soared to Olympian heights. An Olympic pole vault bronze medalist at just 19 and suddenly New Zealand's golden girl. But in the three years since, McCartney's battled injury after injury, unable to train or compete consistently since the Rio Olympics. It certainly starts to make you question yourself a little bit and, and question whether you are capable of doing it or being an athlete and those times are really hard. After years of frustration, she finally has an answer. Tests revealing McCartney suffers from a genetic autoimmune condition. It sounds a little bit scary to um, be told that sort of thing when your job and your career is being an athlete. <laughs> but ultimately, she says it has come as a relief. Not only did I get an answer, I got a solution. and Hopefully, I can just go back to the way it was prior to the last three years, maybe. That would be really great. The solution being she now has the right medication. McCartney's been taking it for a week, and so far, it's working. At the moment, there's no reason not to think that I won't be in Tokyo if I... Um, don't have any like further bad setbacks and I should be fine. But after years of highs and lows, McCartney's weary of getting too excited. This year particularly has probably been the most challenging year and so there's many times where I'm just, you know, I'm not optimistic at all and I think it's terrible and I think it's the end of the world but of course things change and it's actually not as bad as you think they are. With only eight months left to qualify and prepare for the Olympics, McCartney and her team are hoping they've uncovered the problem just in time. Now it is concerning for one of our big medal hopes, of course, but the athletes here tonight have all been throwing their support around her. Eliza told me herself tonight, though, is all about that countdown to next year's Olympic Games. And it starts with the launch of the, t of the New Zealand team uniform tonight. It's pretty top secret. They're keeping it under wraps, but all will be revealed at 9.30, and we'll have more on the AM show tomorrow morning. Good stuff, Christina. Thanks very much.